Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to multiply and divide complex numbers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. So we're going to dive right in with an example. And our first example here is we're going to be multiplying complex numbers. And there's some rules we're going to go about while we, while we do this. So number four. Let's say we want to find the product of four times two plus five i. Okay? Well, this is how we want to go about doing this. Okay? We know we're dealing with a complex number. And we almost treat this as if i is like a variable. Okay? And all we have to do is distribute the four to both parts here. 4 times 2, so we have 4 times 2 here, plus 4 times 5i, so 4 times 5i, okay? And now 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 5i, 4 times 5, 4 times 5 being 20, we have 20i here. And that's it. It's actually fairly simple when you understand and look at complex numbers is that we're dealing with a complex number here very similar to if it was just like a variable like x but it does mean something different so this number itself together is 8 plus 20i okay now what happens when we multiply two numbers together okay well let's go do that we have 4 plus 3i times 2 minus 5i here, okay? So what we're going to do is almost like, well really, like FOIL, right? FOIL that we've done before when we have, let's say, two binomials that we're multiplying together, but we're doing them with complex numbers. So 4 times 2, all right, let's go to that. So 4 times 2 comes out to be 8. 4 times a minus 5i is a minus 20i. 3i times 2 is a 6i, and 3i times a minus 5i, and this is going to get tricky. So we have a minus here, 3 times 5 is going to be 15, and then i times the i is i squared. So what is, what's i squared? Well, if you remember from before, i squared is equal to a negative 1, right? So what we're going to do now is take that note, okay? We have 8 minus 20i, plus 6i minus 15 times i squared, or times a negative 1, okay? With that, we need to simplify. i got to combine our like parts here, all okay? right? So let's go rearrange this. We know when we have a negative 15 times a negative 1, it's like a positive 1, right? So we have positive 15 and 8 here. So positive 15 and 8 come out to be 23. And then we have a minus 20i and a positive 6i, which is a minus 14i. And so when we multiply this out, we got 23 minus 14i as our answer. Okay, so now we've seen two different ways to really multiply complex numbers uh, with a single number up front as well as two complex numbers together. See an example of that? Let's go talk about dividing complex numbers. I'm going to erase this and I'll see you in a moment. So now we're going to divide complex numbers, and to do that we first need to learn something. We need to learn about what is called the complex conjugate. So here's another definition. The complex conjugate of a complex number, a plus bi, is a minus bi. It is found by changing the sign of the imaginary part of the complex number. The real part of the number is left unchanged. When a complex number is multiplied by its complex conjugate, the result is a real number. When a complex number is added to a complex conjugate, the result is a real number. Okay? So, let's go find some complex conjugates here and use that as a stepping stone for division. So, example 6. We want to find the complex conjugate of each number. A, they tell us is 2 plus i square root of 5. So what is its complex conjugate? Well, again, our form is that a plus bi form, okay? So in this case, our b is square root of 5, right? So the conjugate of that is going to be the a minus bi, right? 
So this number, a plus i square root of 5, its conjugate would be, or sorry, 2 plus i square root of 5 is 2 minus i square root of 5, or you can put square root of 5 first if you really wanted to, but that is our conjugate right here that we're looking at. Okay, let's try another one. b, they tell us here, is a negative 1 half i. Well, what is its conjugate? Notice our a value is 0. Okay, so the number in this form is really like 0 minus 1 half i. So its conjugate that we're looking for here, its conjugate is 0 plus 1 half i. Right there. And we can write that simply as just a positive 1 half i. Right. So that's a little tricky part here with these conjugates. We need to learn what they are and use them. I guess label is complex conjugate. So now let's go use that information to divide a complex number. Okay. So number seven here. We want to divide two plus five i by 4 minus i, okay? So beginning, let's write this as a fraction, 2 plus 5i over 4 minus i, okay? What am I going to do with this information about the complex conjugate, okay? Well, what I'm going to do is right now, I don't really know a way to divide this, but I don't want an i in the denominator, and I want to write it in our complex form. That's how you simplify this. So what we're going to do is multiply this number by the conjugate of the denominator here, because it has an i down there. So the conjugate of 4 minus i is, well, 4 plus i. But we can't just go multiply this number by something else and expect it to be the same thing. But what we can do is multiply it by 1, right? And anything to multiply by 1 is itself. So we take the conjugate and put it over itself. 4 plus i divided by 4 plus i, we know is 1. So really, we're just multiplying this number here by 1, but we're using our conjugate to come up with a fraction version of 1 to help us out. So let's go watch this. <clears throat> we got to multiply that out, okay? So we're going to be doing a lot of FOIL. We're going to FOIL the numerator and FOIL the denominator. In doing so, we get the numerator, remember, all parts together. So 2, plus, two times 4 is 8. 2 times i is 2i, 5 times, 5i times 4 is a 20i, and 5i times i is, well, 5 times i times i is i squared is a negative 1. Remember our rule, i squared is equal to a negative 1. Denominator, same idea, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times i is 4i, Negative i times 4 is a negative 4i. And negative i, here, and here's a tricky part, right? So we have a negative i times an i, so we have a minus sign there, and then i times i is i squared, negative 1. And I'll put that here, i squared equals a negative 1, just in case you forgot it already, okay? So that's what we have right here, a minus a negative 1. Let's go simplify the numerator and the denominator where we can, and we'll see where we end up. Now watch this. Numerator, okay? Combine our like terms. F 8 plus a negative 5, right? 5 times negative 1 is a negative 5. So 8 plus negative 5 is a positive 3. Plus 2i plus 20i is 22i. Denominator. Here's a tricky part. We have plus a negative one, or minus a negative 1 is like plus a positive, so 17 plus 1, or sorry, 16 plus 1 is 17, getting ahead of myself here. But then this is the beauty of the conjugate. 4i minus 4i cancels out. It's just really, they eliminate each other, we're done. So we have 17 in the denominator, but this isn't fully a complex number, right? We need a plus bi. So to do that, what we need to do is write this as a, uh, each part as a fraction, distribute really the 17. So we have 3 over 17 here, plus 22 over 17i. And we can see we have our a plus bi form for our answer here of 13 over 17 plus 22 over 17i.
Well, I hope you learned something here about the complex conjugate and multiplying dividing complex numbers. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com